word from the Lord this morning. Tell somebody, yes, there is. God doesn't want a part-time lover. God is not looking for a girlfriend. He's not in the business of dating. Amen. God wants true, ongoing, personal commitment. Amen. How many of y'all ready to give on that this morning? So now ask the person next to you. Come on, look at somebody and ask them this question. Are you the one? Come on, y'all ain't helping me out. Look at him and say, are you the one? Or shall he look for another? Come on. So King Ahab, let's jump into the story. King Ahab, this was King Ahab's condition. King Ahab married a Phoenician princess. Her name was Jezebel for political alliances all outside of the will of God because they weren't to marry outside, amen, of their people. He also, after he married her, he allowed altars of Baal and groves to be set up right beside altars of Jehovah in the land. As a result thereof, God shut up the heaven for three and a half years. What no rain for three and a half, somebody said three and a half years is an awfully long time. Can you imagine going one day and not hearing from the Lord? Three and a half days the heavens were shut, amen? And the truth is that whenever you compromise and step outside of the will of God, there is nowhere else to go but somebody say down. Come on, Jonah. Y'all remember Jonah, right? Jonah was told to go to what? Nineveh land. And Jonah decided, I'm going to Tarshish. So he went down to the seaport to purchase a ticket. And when he got the ticket, he stepped on board and went down into the what? Hull of the ship. And the ship began to toss because of the storm that was on the outside. Amen. And the people began to cast lots to find out what in the world is going on here. Well, anyway, the lot fell on Jonah. And Jonah said, I am the one. Well, after Jonah admitted that, guess what happened? They threw him overboard and Jonah went down into the sea. And if that wasn't enough, then he went down into the belly of the fish. Somebody said, whenever you step outside of the will of God, there is nowhere else to go but down. Just down. A downward spiral. Spiral. So pin uh, Ahab and King and Elijah for a second. And let me jump to Judges chapter 16. We find the story of Samson and Delilah. Samson fell in love with Delilah. How many of y'all know that? He fell in love with a weakness. Let me tell you why. Because in Hebrew, the word Delilah, the name Delilah means weak. Samson fell in love with a weakness. The strong man was overcome by his weakness. Night after night, playing games with Delilah, just, just, just tricking and just deceiving and things like that. And she was just setting them up the whole time. So night after night, oh, if you do this, then this will happen. Oh, get fresh new ropes. Oh, if you, if you get some new ropes, if, 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 you get some, if you do this, and well, let me see. Well, if you tie my locks together. And so he kept playing with her. I mean, you know, just, just playing on the devil's territory. Playing pity pet with the devil. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mom's going to buy you a mockingbird. Come on, just, just, just playing with the devil. Miss Lucy had a baby. She na just playing with the devil in the devil's territory. Just playing. Not knowing that he was flirting with his destiny. Just playing with the enemy on the enemy's territory. Don't you know the enemy is trying to kill you? And I hear somebody say, well, I can handle that. Ain't no problem. You know, I've been there before. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, let he that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Just when you think you got it all together. Somebody say, you ain't got it all together. It's God that's keeping you, baby. So the Bible says that he kept playing with her and, and playing with her, telling her these things. Now listen to this right here. Listen real quick. He says, how, she said, how can you say you love me and your heart is not with me. In other words, Samson, how can you say you love me and you don't trust me? How can you say you love me? And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying this morning, how can you say you love me when your body is here? Come on, somebody. But your heart is with the person you slept with last night that wasn't your husband and wasn't your wife. How can you say you love me when your heart is tied to that alcohol. How can you say you love me when your children come before me? How can you say you love me when your heart is tied to that weakness, tied to that habit that you keep going back to? For Jesus declared, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Even a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. How 